Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and of their righteous posterity, you have made heaven and earth with all their adornment, you have bound the sea with your word of command, hear my prayer, O Lord of our fathers, for your children of Native America, who are tribes of Israel, remember those who died at Bear River, Lord, your children were wrongly accused, and greatly wronged, and slain, in a snare that was devised for them, you, Lord according to the abundance of your goodness, have promised salvation to the righteous, you, Lord, are the God of truth, and to the tribes of Native America you will show your goodness, you have guided the tribes to a straight path, Amen. This is April Shaltais. In one of the bloodiest genocides in U.S. history, more than 493 members of the Northwestern Band of the Shoshone Nation were left dead. The tribe was sheltering from cold weather in the Cache Valley in Idaho when they were attacked by U.S. Army Colonel Patrick E. Connor with California troops volunteering in the U.S. military. The Desiree News wrote that with ordinary good luck, the volunteers would wipe out the Indians. The Desiree News further called the Indians a bastard class of humans. Colonel Connor completely slaughtered the peaceful tribe. According to historians and tribal leaders, very few were left alive. The Bear River Massacre of 1863 was described as one of the worst scenes of carnage military had ever seen, and Shoshone chief, Bear Hunter, faced torture after soldiers captured him. There's a forgotten genocide, right here in America. Millions of Native Americans were murdered. It was genocide. This is Rome. Rome conquers, massacres, and enslaves. Rome is still here. Never, never forget, never. The scriptures say, he that calls the wicked righteous, him shall the people curse, nations shall abhor him, but to them that rebuke him shall be delight, and a good blessing shall come upon them. This is April Shaltais, using the computer to generate this message. My brother, Rendell Barry Shaltais, is dead. My brother, Todd Perry Shaltais, is dead. My niece, Celeste Shaltais Conway, is dead. All dead, immoral people, today, are still using genocide for gain and amusement. They want me dead, too. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. They don't need a reason, but I'm an unmarried virgin past 50. I survived, so they are calling me a botched kill and they want to clean up the mess and finish the job, they don't want me to have any more birthdays, they poisoned my dogs, they used COVID as an excuse to take away my job, my health insurance, my phone, my internet, they blocked my 403b money and my retirement, they cut my power, they denied my unemployment, they also attacked my vehicles, disabling them and trying to tow them, again and again, this is April shall ties, and I want to live not die for any reason, for with long life the Lord will satisfy me. This is Rome, and Rome wants you to die in the arena. Rome is still here. Rome crucified Christ and created Christianity to cover up the genocide of Jews, Africans, Muslims, Russians, Irish, Celts, Japanese, Chinese, Aborigines, Vietnamese, Koreans, Hmong, Hawaiians, Eskimos, Native Americans, and more. Mexicans are dying on the border every day. Never, never forget, never. The scriptures say, their tongue and their doings are against the Lord, to provoke the eyes of his glory. The show of their countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Say ye to the righteous, that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hand shall be given him.